Bracket Thy Hawa, Bracket Thy Hawa Shai, Bracket Thy Hawa, Bracket Thy Hawa Shai, Bracket Thy Hawa, Bracket Thy Hawa Shai. Call Halal Lai, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, which is Hebrew, interpret, Bless Yahawa, Bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is Second Peter's, the second chapter, and I'm going to get right into it. And I'm going to start at the 12th verse. It says, but these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that are that they speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. All right, because you got a lot of wicked ass people today that that um never look for their uh, end. You know, they never, never, never think about judgment coming upon them for the evil that they do. You see, the, mo the most high is a righteous power, you know, and just because you don't believe in him doesn't mean that judgment is not going to come to you. We were born in this world, all right, by the, by the creator. He placed us in this world as just as well as he put us here, he can take you out of this world, you know. So let me read that again. But these are natural brute beasts. You got a people and you got I mean, Israelites, man. You know, that's that's just natural brute beasts. Good for nothing, born in vain. All right. That, that's made to be taken and destroyed. Straight up, man. Yo, our people are wicked as hell, man. You know, and they do as they please. They do as they feel. So it says, but these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not you know like scoffers you know they 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 speak evil of this truth or speak evil of the matter what we bring out the gospel and they don't even understand it you know people will put a comment on a video <clears throat> for an example people will put a comment on a video and you could tell that they didn't even watch the video they saw you say one word and then they just put a comment you know, that, hey, that's, that's accounted for as evil against the Lord. If you did not know, you know, it's best that you keep your mouth shut, you know, and don't say nothing, man. You know, look at this shit. I, I wish, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to show you uh, if I can get it as I speak. You see that, that guy that's supposed to be walking, you know, to the left. Well, guess what? <laughs> he in women's clothing, man. And he looked like he uh, demonic. I never seen that shit. Not like that before. You know, he looked like a warlock. You know, he looked like he, he had some shit in his head. But it just shows you, uh, hey, yo, two thirds are natural brute beasts. Just like Esau, man, he's a natural brute beast. It says, made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. You're gonna utterly perish in your own corruption. The Lord is good for you know, taking you in the devices that you have imagined, you know, people imagine evil against us. And in particular, I know individuals who I had a falling out with, they pray I fall out this truth. <laughs> you know, they pray I fall out this truth so they could say, oh, you know, I knew he was wicked. <laughs> you praying that I fall out of the truth, may the most high destroy your wicked ass, you know, curse them that curse us and bless those that bless us, man. Hey, that thing back too. And I ain't gonna fix this lesson on that. That shit is demonic, man. That's a natural brute beast, man. You know, he's he's full of destruction. And and what's gonna correct him is his own his own wickedness, man. You know? So it says, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Alright? If you're an adulterer, you're gonna perish being an adulterer. Alright? If you uh, you know, eating abominable foods, you're gonna perish for eating abominable foods all right um you know you in this false philosophy believing in these different gods false gods you're gonna die believing in the false god man the most high is gonna take you upon your own devices man and what you have imagined all right so verse 13 and shall receive the reward of the unrighteousness what is the reward of the unrighteousness death and destruction all right mainly uh and ultimately by thermonuclear destruction See, a lot of people believe that, you know, you know, because they uh, haven't been judged, 
you know, or having been paid back recompense for the trouble they brung upon someone and the evilness that they done and they think they got away with it. This is why Esau believes that he's going to live forever. You know, he thinks he got away with slavery and, and, and doing what he did unto the Israelites. All right. Unto the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics and Native and Seminole Indians. This man done, you know, destroyed two thirds of Israel, man. All right. Before the Lord destroyed him, he destroyed you because the minds, the spirit is all messed up. You're a natural brute beast. Excuse me. It says, and shall receive the reward of the unrighteousness as they that counted pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceiving while they feast with you. You know? And a lot of you people, you trick your own self in believing in a lie. You know? And a lot of them, you know, two thirds, you know, the wicked. You trick yourself in believing in a lie and you consider that the truth can't bother you because you don't believe in the truth. A lot of people actually think like this. You know, they comfort themselves with lies and they feel like if they don't believe in the truth, then the truth could never cross their path to correct them. You know, because you have pride. You know, the most high is, 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 is a master of challenging your pride, man. Because those are, having pride is one of the things he hates. All right, just like um, I was talking with someone yesterday about, um, you know, uh, you know, being a damn homo. You know, when you first, when these, when these, these guys, these, these weirdos, I'm calling them weirdos. When these weirdos um, uh, realize, you know, that they like the opposite, they like the same sex. You know, they're in the closet. Why you are in the why are you in the closet? You know why? Because you know that is wrong in which you doing, and it's wrong in which your sexual preference is, and you chose to choose that sexual preference. All right, you know it's wrong. So now, what happens is they haven't developed the you know the pride yet, and I don't want to say too many words, but they haven't developed the pride yet until someone come and 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 introduce them or or. or encourage them let me say encourage them to uh come out and when you come out you feel like you had a relief so now you develop the pride all right the pride you know you develop that now when you develop that now no one can shame you no one can you know uh put you in your place because you 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 you, you openly telling the world what you what your uh sexual preference is you know in our reality, now when you come ac come across men of, men of the Lord, fucking devils, you know. Uh, anyway, people like the air hustle. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, when you come across the men of the Lord now, and we come out of the scriptures and read and read the Bible, that's when the the, the word of the Lord, you know, uh, gets into your soul, gets into your spirit, you know. And now, you know, what what people do. Is they want to argue and they want to fight because they don't want to see reality. But guess what? You know, according to uh, Hebrews, what is that? Uh, 4 and 12 or 12 and 4, Salakia. He said his word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing the soul uh, soul and spirit, man. All right? The Most High's word, it, 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 uh, it, it, it dawns on your conscience and it eats you up. Okay? If you're wicked, the word of the Lord is going to tear your ass up. All right. But anyway, let me get back. I'm um, so lucky I'm losing my train of thought. It's fucking Edomite, man. Anyway, it says um, 2 Peter chapter 2 and uh, verse 13. And shall receive the reward of the unrighteousness as they that counted pleasure to riot in the daytime spots they are and blemishes sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin and you got people that cannot stop sinning man because if they feel like if they if they can't sin let's just put it i'm gonna put it blunt they feel like if they can't sin all right they, they can't live straight up 
all right because a lot of our people are wicked man two-thirds of our people are fucking wicked man you know it says having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin beguiling unstable souls you know hey that that's that uh you know that weirdo sexual preference man you know they be gulling souls man matter of fact let me see what that mean right be gulling right it says to bait catch by a bait uh Allure, entice, deceive. <laughs> Man, you know, them weirdos with that sexual preference, that weird ass sexual preference, you know, they, they will lure you in. You know, they will bait you. You know, what they say, uh, uh, curious, what they say, uh, what's the world he said? Curious, the curious killed the cat. Damn, God, they say that shit. But uh, anyway, something around the lines of, uh, the curious killed the cat or something like that. You know, you curious, you know, and your mind is open to folly and sin, then you already being tempted. You know, and we know the word of temptation, it means what? To do the desire to do something wrong or unwise. You know? And um as it says here in uh the 14th verse, having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, be galling unstable souls. You know, you got that. That's why the scriptures say they shall wax worse. They're going to wax worse, man. All right. The more you stay in the world, the more you're going to wax worse. And I know it because, you know, dudes, my boys who I grew up with, who I, who I see from time to time, talk to here and there, compared to the time when we was living and growing up, our era, you know, when I was in high school, first years of college and stuff like that, the time was different. Music was different, you know. It wasn't all too much mumble rap. It had some masculinity there. It was still wicked. But here it is. You know, the guys that's my age, now I see them and get in contact with them. You know, they don't wax worse. They doing things that we would never had done, you know, when we was growing up. You know, being on a block and shit like that or going to school. You know, the clothes that they're wearing, we would never have wore because we would have hiked on each other. Niggas would have got on you. Niggas would have told you how tight your jeans are. You would have went in the house and either cut the bottom legs, bottom parts of your jeans, or you would have never wore them shits again. You know? It seemed like <laughs> this world, this, hey, this place is so wicked. It's, it's hard to just, it, it, I can't even say it in many words, man. I can't express how wicked it is. You know? It's that wicked. Anything goes now. There's no more morals. There's no more value. All right? And there's no more principles. All right. Uh, one, one, one. This young kid, uh, somebody told me uh, when I asked him, but I said, "What's up with y'all with these, uh, you know, weird ass hairstyles and shit like that?" They said, "Well, it's the style, the stat, this new, the new style." What they told me was, "The new style is to be different. <laughs> the new style is to be different. So you can create, you can, you can wear whatever it is. You can mix, mix, match your clothes up. You could whatever. If yes, you could do anything." And that's in. That's the fashion. That shows you that we on. We on. This place is almost gone, man. Anyway, it says, um, uh, "Beguiling unstable souls." You know, just like when you read about uh, Sodom and Gomorrah with Lot, you had those, those uh, weirdos. Um, they um, they um, you know, were aggressive. And like I told someone yesterday, look, man, because they just kind of pissed off. Uh, seeing, uh, you know, what what this place has really become. You know, every day you're seeing a weirdo. Every day, man, you're seeing one every day, and it's kind of being normal. It's kind of, you know, they want you to be. They wanted to be normal, but guess what? You know, this place is going to be infested. You know, just like if you have a like a bug infested in your crib. Say somebody got a, uh, you know, uh, fleas or something like that from their dog in their house. You know, your house, you could get fleas infested. That's how this place uh, is going to get when it comes to that, that weirdo sexual preference. All right. It's going to be infested. So we're at a point where they're going to be aggressive. Uh, another thing, too, this person was telling me about the women beauty pageant, uh, pageant, if I'm saying that right, that the women are complaining because the weirdo sexual preference 
you know, they want rights to to participate in the beauty pageants, you know, for women. You know, so <laughs> this shit is crazy, man. Natural brute beast, man. Now the weirdo sexual preference want rights to to contend in the beauty, the women's beauty passage, you know, beauty passage. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so I get, you know, they want rights. And what's going to happen is they're going to end up taking it over. They said the women are complaining. They're saying that, you know, this is the only thing they have. You know, why is they trying to get into their stuff? Just like, hey, the brother Chappelle, the camp, he did a video on, um, you know, how, you know, weirdos are now, they want, they want more rights into uh, playing sports, you know, playing sports now. <laughs> you know, here it is, you were born as a man, okay, your genetic, your bone structures, all that. And because you take estrogen pills or you go to the doctor and take some type of chemicals so that your body can pump estrogen, the doctors are clearing them and saying that they're all female because they no longer uh, have testosterone pumping in their body. So now these weirdos are taking that and saying that they are all female. So now when they get that diagnosed and they, you know, the doctor saying that they're all female now, that they want to be able to participate in women's sports. And what's happening is these are men playing amongst women, man. You know, that's all it is, man. But anyway, man, um, it says, um, <clears throat> It says, having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls and heart, they have exercised with covetous practice, cursed children, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bashor, Bashor who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked in his iniquity the dumbass speaking with man's voice for bad the madness of the prophet but you know that's the point that's all i have that's all i'm gonna bring out right now um you know natural brute beasts you know our people has become degenerates you know two-thirds just like esau now it's sickening you know every day every day that's how i can't see how you know you can't you know brothers are not in the spirit like how can you not be in the spirit with all this wickedness going on, the shit that you see, you know? That's why we're in a time where you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know yourself, man. You gotta get into the spirit. You gotta be in the spirit every day, because we coming upon um, troubled times. Jacob's troubles around the corner. You know this place is about due. You know you the, the Lord, man. <laughs> the Lord, the Lord is gonna bring great destruction upon this place. The people are asleep. You know, these women with these, uh, man, I, I, I don't want to make a rant, go on a rant, but it's just that wicked, man. It's just that wicked. And it's going on, it's getting worse by the day. And it's going on every day. So, hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak, Badash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.